Yeah, man. Yeah, I just got the brand new laptop. <laughs> man, she gotta set it up right now. All right, when I'm done. Okay, yeah, I'll talk, I'll, yeah, I know. I'll, I'll talk to you later, okay? Thanks. Set this baby up. Alright. Oh god! Who the hell are you? From Microsoft. Cortana. Uh. Well, I'm Cortana. No, but you know. You know what I mean. Okay, how the hell did you get. How the hell did you get inside my house? Well, technically, I'm not in your house. I'm kind of being projected from your computer. It's new technology stuff. Pretty cool. Yeah. Oh. Okay, so what's the purpose? Like, why do I need you? Well, I'm here to help you set up your PC. Oh. Trust me, you need me. But I know how to... You speak English, right? I'm speaking English right now. What are you talking I... about? Yeah, my bad. Sorry. Okay, English. You need to choose English. You're telling... <sighs> Alright, listen, listen. Let's just choose English. It's good. Alright? I just, I just chose English. Well, good job. Thank you. What time is it? This is 9.14. What? Okay, good, good. That's Eastern Standard. We need to choose Eastern Standard. <laughs> oh, man, this is ridiculous. Yeah, well, you know, it's, uh, you need me, trust me. No, no I don't. Yeah, you do, because, see, this comes the important part. This is the legal stuff. Trust me. You could skip past that. You don't need to read that stuff. That's boring. Let's go ahead. Okay. Talks about a bunch of blah, blah, blah. Not necessary stuff. Trust me. Okay. Alright, this is the fun part. This is the fun part. All we need is your Wi-Fi password, using password. Yep. Just connect your Wi-Fi right there. And uh, we can get rolling. Get you up to the interwebs. You... Internet. Alright. Done. Alright. Now, final piece of the puzzle. I just need to know everything else about you. Get that username and that password for that Microsoft account right there. And you, we'll be good to go. Uh, you mean to tell me I need to take all this step in order just to use my own PC that I just bought? No. I'm not giving you my personal information just to put on it just to use your your computer. Like, that, that doesn't make any sense. I don't need you for that. Put the thing in. Just put the, put the username. You want to use the PC? Put the username and the password to your Microsoft account. We need to know who you are. We need to know your date of birth. We need to know... Okay, so maybe that's not exactly how it goes. Uh, but it does go a little bit like this. First, when you're first setting it up, you get uh, to choose your region. And for most of you, you're going to choose the United States. And then it goes on to ask you about your keyboard layout. You choose US. Once I add a second keyboard layout, you can skip that for now. And then uh, I'm just going to fast forward through this. Uh, Windows loads up. And here comes the point where you're asked for your Microsoft account. Now, the reason it gets to this point is because you're connected to the internet. For those of you that are using wireless, it's going to ask you to choose your wireless connection. For me, I'm plugged straight in, so it chose the internet connection that I'm plugged into. And it went ahead and it downloaded some updates and it came to this point. As you can see with this point, there's no way that I can opt out of signing in with this Microsoft account. If you look around, you'll see where there's a uh, next button, which uh, moves you to the next step once you put in your Microsoft account. And then there's some privacy and cookies, terms of use, and learn more. All right, if you click the Learn More button, you will see, um, you know, they're giving you a bunch of information on uh, what do you do to sign in. But let, let me do this. Let me restart now and without my internet connection, and I'll show you guys what you get. Okay, so starting up without the internet connection gives you this. Okay, so you get the same um, startup. You get the, let's start with the region, choose United States, and that moves you to the next step. Then it asks you for your keyboard layout, which is the normal thing that we saw on the previous one. It also has a second keyboard layout. Go ahead and skip that. After you skip that, it's going to try to find the internet connection. It's going to go and see if it can find a connection. And depending on whether you are connected or not, it'll return 
uh, cannot find internet connection error. This is Windows trying to connect to your internet connection and it's saying that you know it's not connected. Um, so if you look all the way to the bottom left you'll see where it says I don't have internet and that's the option that you want to kick at this point uh, if you don't want to use your Microsoft account. So when you go ahead and click that it's going to load and then it's going to come back and it's going to tell you all the benefits of connecting with an internet connection. It's going to try to get you to connect so that it can ask for the Microsoft password. But um, you can just go ahead and click continue. So when this loads up, then it's going to get you to a point where it's going to ask you to put in an account name. But this time, it's not the Microsoft account. This is what we call a local account. And then you can go ahead and choose your username for this local account. And go ahead and hit that in. I'm just going to do JJ Tech, and then you click next. And the rest of the setup is pretty basic. I'm going to skip through this uh, pretty quickly. Um, because that's the most important part right there. So that's how you avoid logging into your PC with your Microsoft account. Especially, you know, for those of you that are setting up PCs for people, you know, for other people, you don't want to put in your Microsoft account in their PC. I'm just going to go ahead and not use a password. I'm going to leave it blank, so I just hit next. All right, so I'm just going to quickly next, next, finish through all of this, and this is going to eventually get me to the Windows desktop. And after you're at the Windows desktop, what you can do is plug your cable back in, connect your internet, and you'll be able to get updates, um, browse the web, and do everything as if it was normal PC. The only thing you're doing it on a local account. So that's how to get away. So don't let Microsoft bully you guys into thinking that you have to use your Microsoft account to get your PC set up. All right, and that's it for this video. So I'd like to thank you guys for viewing. If this video has helped you guys out, just give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe.